not business as usual. It's creating new value in new ways through people working well together. It's only self-evidently superior if you've experienced it. And that's the issue, right? You know, <laughs> people don't believe in things unless they've experienced it. And most if you can unlock that uniqueness individually and collectively, you're going to create more value and people are going to have more fun and, and more enjoyment. People are accepting almost invariably of the fact that they are asked to and expected to behave as a cog in that particular machine. And therefore that's just the price you pay for employment. We we give so much credit to the people who you know provide the finance mm -hmm. um, that those that actually do create value are getting squeezed out. In effect, if you're in the high tech sector, the the innovative ideas come from the most junior people because they're the ones who are most familiar with the latest technology, and the immune response from the other parts of the organisation would kill off the work that we've been doing and usually it would result in the senior person leaving uh, the rules of the game are mm. don't innovate at all copy if you must if the consultants are coming in and doing the sense making and decision making for them there's no new muscles developed in the client organization and the board should turn to the ceo and say oh does that mean you're incompetent as a leadership team then that you, you don't know what to do so you're having to hire people in from outside to tell you what to do we need people who are capable and creative to create real value in the world if we're going to transform the planet and you're going to be able to survive on it. What I'm focusing on is helping equip the people in the organization who aspire to be change catalysts, who aspire to embody the traits that are required. Mm -hmm.